management. Presenter, Professor G.K. De Silva. Professor G.K. De Silva served in the world as a lecturer, head of the Department of Mathematics, and as the Vice Chancellor. He served as the chairman of the Committee of Vice Chancellors and Directors at CDCD in 1996. He was the Director General of Sri and Managing Director of Media Defined, the Sri Lankan branch of a USA company working in Eden. He holds BIC and MP in Mathematics and Computing, BPC uh, from World Tour, MBCS, C Engineering, and MBA. Currently, he is semi retired and spent his time in few academic related activities and writing books on mathematics. Predictive uh, uh, fiction and children's stories. Yes, of course, the DTM is not his own teacher. Now we are looking at the big crowd here. So, um, my topic is uh, using Markov process for project planning. Now, does it uh, suit our theme for the whole conference? is uh, integrating professionalism on action building. So where does uh, project management come? Where does this mark of data come? That's the question, right? Now, the <coughs> uh, thing is, for, uh, for development of a nation, we need a lot of projects, especially Sri Lanka is now in the, the forecast of getting development projects. Not all of them are construction, but there are various other forms of uh, projects. And I can tell you with my experience, both in the university system and KDU, KDU is the strongest people for projects. I think you should cheer this KDU. Uh, staff. I have never seen uh, so nice, so well projects are in Helen. This building was completed in one year. The next building, the engineering faculty building, with the uh, air force in construction, completed in one year. If the university system did this, it would have taken three years. Now, not all, all projects are construction. And as I said, for national building, we must have uh, projects completed in time. And this itself, this uh, conference, is a very big project. I think one of the biggest research projects in the country. It spends around 20 million projects. I have been to a lot of conferences like this. I can see only people who are reading the papers come to attend the session. I once they had a session to find only five people. And they were only the readers of the papers. And after reading, they were initial. But here, to look at this crowd, it is really amazing. I think the National University system should copy this. Right? And when I come to that now, it's very important to complete the project satisfactorily in the allocated time, which is very, very rarely happens in Tijan. We are I think, very famous for delayed projects. I don't have to tell you the repercussions. People get frustrated. The workers, the people working get frustrated. So, there should be methods for finishing uh, this time and in good quality. Now we all know, I mean, I'm sure all of you know, the critical part method is very confused. That is to identify the critical activities and those activities we can be used. But it's quite enough. Now, trying to push uh, your uh, critical activities with the normal common sense help. That's what is happening in Sri Lanka today. People are very smart. Uh, 
but they try to do Bolivia, common sense, and try to do this. We have to use our quantitative techniques and also our modern scientific methods. So, one thing is to use this uh, person, Marco, uh, King, gives a stochastic process. Uh, you can see a little right now. Uh, it is known for its stochastic process. Uh, so, let us see how this can be coupled to explain our work. So, this method uh, works some probability. It constructs uh, something called a stochastic matrix A. It is, uh, I will show you how to So, it uses the earlier information and says it act as a matrix. And if you know today's uh, the status of the project, then it is easy to, then it tries to. Uh, calculate the properties of various states for the different types. So let us see how we can do this for a for a, a project. So now uh, chairman told that we work both of us my associate both in my American firm. And at the end of every day they had to we had to give the uh, thing called Scrum. Scrum, where does the Scrum word come from? It comes from Ragat. So, where every person has to do the work he was doing that day, and the work plan for the next day, and the possible issue that will come. So that is the Scrum. And the top leaders will always study these things, and try to see that the project is delay. So, so this is the area where we can use from that idea also here. So we have thing called transitional properties. For a simple situation, let us say uh, with a daily basis. It need not be daily, but can be for a week or so for a big project. Maybe every week you have to study the status. So for every week you are going to <coughs> allocate that work to be done by the company or whatever. And at the end of the day or week, if that there's a delay, you can call it B. Status is B. If the delay is fairly moderated, then you can call it M. But if there is no delay, then you can call it P. So let us define these three states, state, states of the earth as delay P, moderate delay M, or moderate P. So we have to look at the pattern for the last few days of P days. This project. So let me construct something called a transitional probability. Graph. So if you look at that uh, lead, so there are some calculations to be done. I think you may not be able to do this now. ST is the total uh, uh, time to have for D. Then NV is the NVM, is the number of days or periods that activity has goes from D to N. So you have calculated the probability from B to M as the GM in GM upon SP. Anyway, that will be clear once you see the next slide. Now supposing in our critical part, we are looking at the critical activities, it will take 25 days. See after 20 days, this may be the pattern. That is B M, T, T, M and all that. Right? Then to calculate the number of SDs, how many Ds are there, how many stems are there. You don't take the last stem because you need the chain. So how many going from D, D, D to D? There's only one. 
how many votes from B to N? We have three. So we tell you calculate the probabilities and in the dark given the probabilities. And you construct a map of K matrix A, which is as shown like this, if you add the horizontal lines, the rows, they add up to one. Then it is easy to convert this to a transpose matrix, A dash, and your rows, columns, still add to one. Then supposing the day 20 late, the status is moderate, then you form a vector, column vector called not one not. So then comes at the middle. Then you can calculate B21, that is what is the status uh, for the 21 day, that will be 1 upon 8, and you can see 4 upon 8 is the 4 upon 6 is uh, highest to that yes. So that might be 21st day, it may be the, uh, in time. So like this, you can calculate the probability for the next day, the second day, and you can see the probabilities. So that way you can uh, you can do the project management very efficient. As I was saying, how does this provisional uh, integration comes? In this same example of our research conference, this is a very classic example where yeah, military and uh, civilians work together. And as I know, the chairpersons have been always, and their team has been always civilians. But once they decide what they give the instructions, the military people are the best to carry out this. So we have this very good example for the country, for the development. See? We can work together as we are doing in the KTU. It's a classic example of the integration of civilian uh, and military. And where the civilians give the information, whatever knowledge they have, and the military carry out, carry out the work. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.